a pretty calm day weather-wise today, but it sounds like we might need to pull out those umbrellas for tomorrow. Yep, the umbrellas will be your best friend tomorrow, especially tomorrow afternoon. But tonight, sunglasses. That's all you're going to need because the sun is starting to set. And it's gorgeous, though. Outside of our studios here in Hazard, we have a very nice picture of what's going on outside. But, yeah, we've got a cold front on the way, and that's going to bring some storm chances by tomorrow. And then, well... We could even start to see a mix starting to move into our rain on Wednesday morning and then even some light snow possible with a second system that's moving through on Thursday. But outside right now, things are looking gorgeous over in McKee. Temperatures there 55 degrees, so still fairly warm out there and even warmer over in Harlan at 59, 61 for Middlesbrough, 58 over in London and 55 for Somerset. So still fairly warm, especially for the end of February, but it feels great and we have the dew points to thank for that. They're all well below where our temperature is sitting, which is allowing for our air to feel very, very dry. But tomorrow it's going to feel a lot warmer because we've got a lot of moisture coming into the atmosphere, which is actually going to fuel some thunderstorms. But things are looking pretty good on pinpoint Doppler right now. No need to worry about any rain just yet. But the SPC has put us in a marginal risk of severe weather for tomorrow. But that just means that there's just an isolated chance of some severe thunderstorms to move throughout the area by tomorrow afternoon. But good news is, as we say nice and dry tonight, that high pressure system keeping us nice and clear, but it is going to move out of the area, leaving way for this low pressure to move in. This is also going to bring in a lot of moisture, which is going to make our atmosphere very, very unstable, which is going to fuel some thunderstorm development by tomorrow afternoon into tomorrow evening as well. Now this cold front is going to continue to push throughout the area, which is going to allow for those thunderstorms to develop and then eventually bringing a lot of cold air into the area as well, which is going to fuel the potential of some mix starting to move into the area by Wednesday morning. Now come Thursday, we've got another system on the way, which is going to allow for the potential of more snowfall Thursday night into Friday. But as far as this goes, we're going to stay dry throughout the overnight and into your Monday or Tuesday morning rather. So your commute tomorrow morning going to be dry, but then by tomorrow evening, that's when we need to start to bring out the umbrellas because we're going to see those rain showers starting to push through the area and then eventually some thunderstorms as well. Also, very gusty winds moving throughout the area tomorrow. Gusts nearing around 35 miles per hour and temperatures topping out in the lower 60s. So another warm day on tap for tomorrow, really allowing for those thunderstorm potentials to just start to ramp up by tomorrow afternoon. And then we'll dry out a little bit on Wednesday. Good news is once we get rid of the mix Wednesday morning, we will get a little bit of a break on Wednesday afternoon. And then heading into Thursday, that's when we start to see more snowfall chances. All right, at least the weekend looking good again. Thank you, Allison. We'll be right back with sports.